For years, he's worked hard and very effectively for South Dakota. James Abner wore many hats. Prior to starting a career in politics, he served in the United States Army, worked as a farmer and rancher, a teacher, and even a coach, which sparked his love for sports. One of my favorite things is watching the Post-22 play baseball. I'm an ardent, ardent fan. The Kennebec native was also a fan of the people of South Dakota. Abner served as state senator from 1956 to 1968 and lieutenant governor from 1969 to 1970. In 1972, the Republican was elected to the House of Representatives. This was strictly a people's election, and they wanted to see a change in direction, a change in policies, and they reacted. And like that, he was elected to the United States Senate in 1980, beating George McGovern for the seat. Probably some people like this would have to think that I'm not doing the kind of a job, and I just happen to think I'm doing a pretty good job down there. After a six-year run, Abner narrowly lost his Senate seat to Tom Daschle in 1986. You gave me one of the most treasured honors a man can receive. You placed in me the trust and the faith that I would represent the views and the wishes and the needs of the people of South Dakota. In 2004, Abner put his faith and trust in John Thune by becoming his advisor. Great role model, great example, great inspiration to me. Thune's campaign against Daschle was successful. And while Abner's official service ended decades ago, his kindness and commitment to the state of South Dakota is not easily forgotten. For many, he'll always be known and remembered as the People's Senator. Taisha Walker, Coda Territory News.